Prince George's County is a lot more than what people think. My name is Raynell Jones, I'm from Oxnoe, Maryland, and this is my home. The National Harbor is a really special place for me and the people in PG County because it's a chance for us to come together and do fun events that they have here. They have movies, they have food, they have scenery. This place has grown on me basically because it has been built ever since I was born. It was all trees before this and ever since then I've been able to see more and do more and hang out with a lot of my friends and my family here. We did have our prom here. It was really fun. It was really cool being able to see the background of the Ferris wheel during prom. It is a place for us to, I guess, be one. The essence of the DMV of Prince George's County, it's something that's different from the other schools. We just have, I guess, that, that like oomph to it. <laughs> that makes it really fun, really cool, especially with Go-Go, that really connects us together with the music. Go Go Music is a remix of other songs with a little, a little, a little beat to it. Speedy Jones has a nerve in his body. I've never seen the guy flinch. My dad is Thomas Speedy Jones. He played basketball there at University of Maryland the years 84 through 86, and he played with the legend Len Bias. My parents definitely pushed me towards basketball, but volleyball, it kept me coming back. I think that having the legacy of my dad playing with Len Bias definitely helped me have a goal and then set that goal and achieve it every single day, every single story that he's told me and every single time I've heard about Lynn Bias helped me become a better athlete and a better student athlete. Being in Maryland and then having the people at Maryland like learn about me and my history and my parents' history helped me really become a better, a better person. Definitely the importance of staying in Maryland and staying home with my family and my friends, it's keeping the culture alive in the DMV in general. We just have an essence of us that really keeps us together and it's unique from all the other states in the country and the other athletes staying in Maryland it really helps us, you know, show that Maryland is, you know, one Maryland. And we all come together and we have a special uniqueness to us. We good? We good? All right, cool. Oh my gosh! <laughs> The first time you started playing volleyball, we went to watch Maryland volleyball games. And I didn't think anything of it at the time, but then when we would go back to Maryland Midnight Madness, uh -huh. and I would think, gosh, you know, it'd be nice if you played volleyball here, since yeah. I played basketball there. And we thought, yeah. okay, this might be possible. Yeah. And your mother was loving it. You know, <laughs> she loved the fact that if you could stay close to home, and then that way we're only 20, 25 minutes away from you. That would be great. When you finally did get that offer to go to Maryland, my thoughts were, we don't need to see anybody anyplace else. This is, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> That's it. Maryland has offered a great opportunity for me when I was able to go there and it's provided a lot for our family. It's just been a great, a great experience. Yeah. What was your favorite experience from Maryland? My favorite experience, um, and a lot of people will remember this, and that definitely will be playing the University of North Carolina and being the first team to beat them in the Dean Dome. Yeah. And to see how my old coach, Lefty Giselle, just was so pumped up about it. And yeah. uh, my friend who's from the D.C. area, Jeff Baxter. Jones has to get it up. Oh, this is interesting, huh? Gatlin to Baxter. Baxter. Life. He hit a, a real big shot in the game, and yeah. uh, the way Lynn Bias played that, in that game was just tremendous. Bias from outside, and he got it. Lynn Bias with 29. Oh my! And he made the steal and a jam! What a play by Bias! Holy cow! That's my favorite memory. Yeah. yeah. 
When I first came to Maryland, I was able to play in a, uh, this league called the Pro-Am down in DC. One of my first games was against Lynn Bias. And a rebound came off and he was just so strong with the rebound. And uh, I come to find out that everybody in this area, their thought was when you step on the court, you have to be strong and show that you're strong. And it's just the, the, the mindset that they get in here. When you play in any sport, you play with a grittiness and a toughness that shows that you you come to play. Yeah. And I saw that in you when it came out in a game in Atlanta, they got a kill on you. And you didn't like it. You didn't like the way they, they celebrated. <laughs> and so you were walking back and forth and letting them know, come again, come again. I and, when they, <laughs> and when they came again and you blocked it, and then you gave them the look like, and I said, that's, that's DMV right there to let people know we're here and we're going to show you how tough we are. How this area most unity. I think being at the University of Maryland, kind of, you kind of learn how to appreciate everything else around you. you know, and Maryland brings that out in you. Yeah. yeah. I feel like being able to experience it like firsthand, like trying new things out in the DMV, it really helps like, you know, yeah. feel like I'm here, feel like I'm a part of the whole DMV experience. Right, that's, that's the way it was for me when I first came here um, to have this experience. I didn't, I heard about it and I was thinking, well, what could that be? And then once I was able to get here and then see it, and then I could really understand it and appreciate it's definitely fun seeing everyone and being being in it. Yeah, the camaraderie that they have here. Yes. Yeah. I was always around the culture. I was always around, you know, being at the games, being able to see like my dad interact with other people and see all the things that I could be experiencing too really made me want to come to come to Maryland and experience the same thing. And I was always thinking, gosh, that would be great to know that my daughter has come behind me. I played here, now she's here. Her siblings get to see her play here. Yeah. My friends get to see her, my family gets to see her. It used to be, that's Speedy Jones plays at the University of Maryland. Now it's, that's Raynell's dad. <laughs> you know, she's, I love the fact that you're there and I'm recognized for you rather than me. Yeah.